Today we're going to have a look at the program Emacs, which is a text editor based off of the Lisp machines, so it can do a lot of things because it's designed to be highly extensible. Now, I recorded this video, however, it wasn't very good, it was kind of messy, and then I also found this, which is the GNU Emacs Guided Tour, which tells you about things. It's like you could run the tutorial, but it gives you a better summary of the tutorial than Emacs does. So I thought I'll just go through it again and use this as my tutorial. And plus I could show you some really cool things. So you can do we're gonna launch Emacs. And then if you go to guide tutorial, however, if you do something really fun, which is the you know, meta X and then do EWW. And then we're going to do, I wonder if we could do the new or software. i to get to this URL, uh, Emacs tour. That's what I want to do. And then wait for the connect. EWW is the web browser built into GNU Emacs. It's a very basic website page, but now we can move around in Emacs. So you can basic editing commands is Control F is one character forward. Control N's next line. And then control B is back character. Control P is the previous line, which they don't have, they don't correlate to anything on your keyboard other than their uh, abbreviated mnemonics. I'm not quite sure what the term is, but they're there for because N is next, P is previous. And you control A, which is the beginning of a line. You just do meta, which is alt. There's the alt key. And meta F is forward one word. Meta A is the previous sentence. And meta V is the previous screen. Control V is the next screen. Screens are basically kind of like pages or whatever. Very arbitrary, but... Oh, make sure you at least... See where you were. On the screen. And then meta uh, less than, which you'll have to hit the shift key, is takes you to the beginning of the page, and then I assume it works the other way with greater than. And then you go to the end of a line, you control E. And then meta B is back in word. Meta A is previous. Uh, meta B is next sentence. Control V. Yeah, we went through those. But something you could do with Max, which is neat, is you could do Control U, and then you put a number, like three. And then control P will take you three previous lines or control U ten and control F will make you go forward ten characters. So by default is it designed to go in steps of four, so I do control U, control B, you'll go back four characters. Now the go now if you want to navigate Nemax, you want to go somewhere and do meta G and then hit G. It allows you to go to a line. So you go to I don't know line hundred which is here. I want to go back down. 
But you can see the line count right here. Now the search is control S will make you search from where your cursor is down. So I can search jump and it'll give you that. And then when I go back, so to see if back you do control R and you jump, it'll find jump because we were there. Now this is, you can do something called marking. You can go to marks, so you do control space, and then it also allows you to highlight text. So I do control X, control X, and you can move the mark, I believe. The, the cancel you get control G. So the copy text in Emacs, what you want to do is set a mark. Then select your text. What you want to do is do meta w and that should copy it. So open up the browser. V should be in there. Which you kind of see, it's hard to tell, but it is there. And then to do a cut, like a cut and paste, instead you control W. So let's do another selection and then do a control W, which will fail because this is a read only document because it's a web page. Other things you could do is you could do meta D and that will uh, copy or cut the next word and meta K will go to the next paragraph uh, sentence and then to undo you messed with things you could do control forward slash they'll undo whatever it did and then also control underscore which would be control shift minus it also be undo and you could do control h which is help and then k and then control s and it'll tell you how to uh how to use it so there's some other cool things I could invoke a shell. So you do shell. Now I have a terminal. Oh. Um. Okay. So you do an echo. Hello world. Spell. Interesting. I think that's a good place to stop. This was a quick look at how to use the program Emacs. A quick go through the tutorial, a quick start guide. Now, I probably won't make a sequel to this video, although I'll probably make more Emacs content, so stay tuned possibly for that. This is Minix. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.